On to other news now. To maintain the Royal Parks in London is no small feat. Each year, there are specialized flower designs and seasonal layouts that require specialized variety and quantities of plants and flowers. To help with the mammoth task, a new high-tech glasshouse has entered the equation. Take a look at our next report to know more. Historically used by the royal family for hunting in London, there are about eight royal parks in London that are now some of the most popular landmarks in the capital. And to maintain them is a royal task. Given the size of each of these parks, there is space for a lot of plants and we mean a lot. Also not to forget the legwork that goes into growing these plants in London weather. But a new high-tech glasshouse is being touted as an efficient solution for the same. Yes, a smart glasshouse to grow plants that can later be planted in the parks. For this summer's production, we have roughly about 250,000 plants um, being grown. Um, and that's across these 12 glasshouses. Um, and yeah, they will be going out into the park in the, in the next few weeks. This is zone one where we grow um, tropical plants for the displays in St. James's Park and in Regent's Park. Um, as we go to the rest of the glasshouses, we have different zones for, for different plants. This isn't your ordinary glasshouse. It comes equipped with 12 specialized zones, automated roof vents and a weather control station. Each of the 12 zones houses similar groups of plants with similar requirements. Attached to a computer that can assess the needs of each of the plants, the weather station can help monitor the temperature and humidity of each of these 12 zones independently. From flowers especially grown for the displays at the St. Regent's Park to the geraniums planted last year for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. This glass house currently houses 400 different varieties of flora. The idea is to have one control room of sorts to provide for all the parks, as well as for taking care of the individual requirements of each of the plants. Once they are of age, these plants will go to their new homes. Foster care for plants? Who would have thought? Like these red ones here that were grown especially for the flower beds in front of the Buckingham Palace, chosen because they match the red of the guard's tunics. Bureau Report we on, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.